Hi, I'm John, and this is Up For Excel. Over here on the left-hand side, you have, of the toolbar, you have something that says Add Chart Element, which will give you a drop-down menu that you can look through. But also, you have here a plus sign when the chart is highlighted that you can use, and again, you have the same thing here, um, but you get these little sort of previews, which can be quite useful. Personally, I prefer to add via this menu here. So first of all, um, we have uh, titles, I think. So axes we already have. We have showing a primary horizontal axis, um, which we can switch off. We could switch off the vertical one, for example, or the primary. The So if we say that we're going to add some titles then, so axis title, so primary or horizontal, that will give us a box showing a title that you can see has appeared, or vertical, which has appeared there as well. So let's add a title to the bottom, and then we can say, uh, you can just click on this and you can just type uh, yeah, and quarter. Now, I think it's probably blindingly obvious. If we click on it so that we're not actually in the editing, you can use the standard menu in Excel to make that bold or increase the font size. And you can see it's semi intelligent in that the chart is moving around as you do that. You can. Um, move this box, drag and drop this box around. So we'll do something like that. So that's done that. Go back to the design. Uh, now I think that we might do a chart title now. So at the moment you've got none, we can do above chart or centered. Now above chart is probably the most obvious place. So I'm gonna call this one sales and profit. Um, and again, I'm just going to use the standard Excel menu to make that bold title. Push the font size up a bit. Okay. Other elements that we could add that may well be useful on here are um, we, we could, in fact, add a data table, and then that adds all the values at the bottom. Now. Um, we could do that with or without a legend. Uh, we can actually add a legend, which we might want to think about doing. So I quite like to put it at the top. So if you, you see where this is kind of moving, you're getting previews of everything, but let's just say we want it at the top. So that gives us that. Again, just like everything else on the chart, you can use the standard Excel home menu. You can make that bold. You can change the, the font size. I mean, I wouldn't make it italic personally, but we can do something like that. We can put, reposition it wherever we like. Um, okay. Other chart elements that are generally quite useful are um, having data labels. Now, and these are gonna look quite messy to say the least, uh, if we're not careful, because we're dealing with some quite large numbers. But there's various different options on here. And what I think I'm going to do is um, do the outside end ones here, um, but what we want to do is we need to format these. Now, an easy way, by default, all the formats of any numbers that you're seeing on screen or anything is linked back to the source information. So if I actually make these a more sensible format by um, changing the number format here, and we'll just pick a standard number, no decimal places and a comma, you see straight away that that's going to look a lot better. And personally, I would probably not want to see so many numbers. So I'm just going to 
we could use a custom format on here to change this so that it shows in thousands perhaps or we could do something similar on here so if we high click one click on the numbers we'll, we'll highlight the entire series um, and allow us to position that somewhere or do something with it so one thing we could do for example is we could rotate the text so it's like that and then we could uh, we go back to this menu here and we go back to our data labels um, if we put those we call inside end and uh, we could make them bold and perhaps even change the color so that they show as white um, something like that might be slightly more less less heavy on the eye shall we say um, but again I'd much prefer to see them in thousands so these data labels down here I would personally just highlight these and on this particular chart I just hit the delete key on the keyboard and they're gone completely and we've got a slightly cleaner chart on our hands and back to this one we can as well sort of other quick formats can highlight areas on the chart and we can do things like make that axis bold for example can highlight highlight this axis make that bold as well um, we could change these number formats we could make them slightly larger for example so clicking back on the chart so what other elements might we be able to add so what have we done so far so we might now we've got the numbers for example on the right hand side here we might decide that we're going to remove that axis completely so if we do something like that now because we're showing the numbers on the bars that can actually look quite clean and tidy compared to how it was a minute ago so this is looking um this is looking pretty good now uh we've got a title we've got our data labels we've got a date Error bars, uh, they're, not partic they're not relevant in this situation. Now grid lines, we could potentially move these, remove these grid lines now because we don't actually need any because we've got the values shown on the columns. But we could, depending on what sort of presentation we want to show, we, could, we can have various scale of grid lines. We can have many, very few, lots. So I'm going to actually remove them um like i say we've got that now we could also add a trend line now there's various different types of trend line we can add but very simply we could say now in order to add a trend line we want to select the series first so if we want to add a sales trend line which could be quite useful go to trend line and we'll just do a linear one for now and that is giving us, thankfully, an upward trend in sales. And you can see it's appeared on the legend as well. Now, we may need, it's unfortunate it doesn't then center the legend, but you can, uh, for example, do something like, oops, drag this legend around. Um, you can even, if you want, edit individual items on the legend so you can click say just the sales just the profit just the trend line uh, you can hit the delete key and it will remove it from the legend for example which might look better in this case and i'm just going to line this up so that it sort of lines up with the title um, yeah uh, because i think and also we can click on this area and move it up. So that's probably looking like a decent chart. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's hope you find it useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.